What's up? Let's get ready to roll. We're gonna get hit, get the recording started, and we are gonna get going. There it is. All you need, if you have it, and you, it looks like you got it, is a light pair, light to medium pair of dumbbells, and a medicine ball. If it's a medicine ball, you could slam even better. If you don't have any of that stuff, because we have you following along on Facebook and on Zoom. If you don't have that stuff, that's fine. You just get substitutions around the house. It really doesn't matter. So, why are we cut off here? All right, so we're gonna warm up. It's gonna be lots of footwork, lots of shuffling across the floor, around the room. If for some reason you can't shuffle across the floor, just admitting people into the room. If for some reason, you can't shuffle across the floor, just make it a, a, a side step to the side, or you could just make even a forward jog and just stop. And we're gonna be doing shuffling and moving across the floor this entire time. So there's gonna be tons of lateral shuffling. If for whatever reason your feet are cramped up or you know you can't do that stuff, you make, again, make it just a side step across the floor, or you can Eat, literally just walk across the floor or just make it a light jog across the floor. So whatever amount of space you have, you want as long of a space as you can get because there's going to be tons of shuffling. And we're going to even start the shuffling off right off the bat from the warm-up, from the warm-up spot. So get yourself clear. Make sure your space is clear. Get yourself a light medicine ball and a light to medium pair of dumbbells. So find your spot. Make sure you got room. If it's a short distance, that's fine. That just means you're going to get more reps of the exercise. Long distance, that just means you're going to get longer time on your feet and a little bit less reps of exercise, so it really doesn't matter. Some of them, if you have a lot of space, you might even intentionally cut it short to get more reps in. All right, so we're going to warm up right off the bat in that space. You don't need any equipment for the warm up. First, give me a thumbs up. You hear me clear. You can hear me clear? All right, awesome. All right, so let's start with a shuffle. All we're going to do is shuffle across the floor. When you get all the way on your left side, you're going to stretch your left quad and then your right quad. Then shuffle all the way to the right side. Right quad, left quad. Hold it for one to three seconds. I'm trying to stay on the camera. I'm trying to get as long of a shuffle as possible when I'm still staying on the camera. So when you shuffle to the left, get left quad stretch, right quad stretch. Shuffle across to the right, go on the right side first. Hold it a little longer if you need to. You don't rush it. If you need to hold it a little longer, one to three seconds, whatever you need to. Glide across, a shuffle across the floor. Left quad stretch, right quad. We're gonna take our time with these shuffles with this warm up because there's tons and tons of rounds we're gonna get. Your legs will need breaks to stretch in between because it's gonna be non stop shuffling. So just stretch those quads and quad. Glide across the floor. Now let's go to a shoulder stretch. So at the end, fling your chest open, stretch your right, then your left. That's on the right side. Shuffle across to the left. Fling it open, stretch your left. Then stretch your right. So the direction you're going to, you're going to stretch that side first. Just glide across, fling it, stretch and hold. Fling it, stretch and hold the other side. Glide it across. Fling. Holds. Whatever direction you go to, you're going to stretch that side first. Let's do it. Facebook, if you have any questions, need any help with anything, fling it. Stretch right and stretch left. Glide across. Open it up. Stretch left. And right, if you're just jumping in now on Facebook, all you need is a light pair of dumbbells and a light medicine ball. If you don't have that, just find anything around the house that has a little weight to it. Doesn't matter. You don't need any equipment. And you just need a little space like we're doing right here to shuffle across the floor. All right, we're going to go to knee hug. Knee hug right, knee hug left. We're just getting warmed up. Shuffle across on the left side. You're going to knee hug left first, and then knee hug right. Line across. Whatever direction you go to, we're shuffling, we're, we're stretching on that side first. Take your time on those stretches, don't rush them. Glide across, left knee, right knee, shuffle it, glide, stretch, boom, zip across. Get that knee up to your chest, hold it a little longer if you need to, hold it anywhere from one to three seconds on that stretch. When you're shuffling across the floor, look at my feet, they're staying apart the entire time. So don't let your feet come close together and touch. Keep shuffling across. All right, let's go now to a tricep stretch. Shuffle across. You're going to do a low chest fling. Low fling down here and stretch your right tricep up. Low fling and stretch left tricep up. Shuffle across. 
To so the left side, you're going to go left side first. Low fling, stretch left. Low, stretch right. Gliding across the floor, getting it rolling. Fling it, stretch right tricep. So you're coming down at like a real deep angle down your side in that stretch. You're just flinging it open. So you're getting that chest and shoulder stretch out and glide across the floor. Stretch left and stretch right. Freaks on Facebook, following along. On Facebook, put a comment there if you're following along live, where you're following from. And put replay if you're doing this workout on the replay. Put a comment down below. Bling it one more time on the tricep on each side. And let's hit the other side over here. So get as much distance as you can. We can shuffle across the floor in your house, your backyard, wherever you are. In the bathroom, in the elevator, in the hotel room, whatever you gotta do, it doesn't matter. All right, we're gonna continue this shuffling, except now we're gonna go across and you're gonna stretch your hamstring. Re lean forward, shoot from a side view. Front leg is straight, back leg is bent. Fling that chest open to the side, get the other side hamstring, and then shuffle across. So you're doing left, hamstring on the left, and then right. Shuffle across to your right side, and you'll do the right side first. Fling it, and breathe. Glide across. Hamstring stretch, fling that chest open. Taking a good amount of time to warm up. We need your entire body warmed up. All the muscles, upper body, lower body, calves, feet, core. Everything warmed up. We need a little sweat going, blood flowing, your heart rate up a little bit. And time, just shake it out. Look right, look over. If you could see over here, I'm going to stretch. My calves. So find a spot either against a wall or a dumbbell because you're going to want to do this on any break, any chance you get today. So put your foot up high against the wall or high against a step and lean your body forward into it with this leg straight. So my right foot is, is up high, my toes up high, up against the wall and lean forward into it with the right leg staying straight. Now keep that right leg on the step, but step away with the left. And now bend the right knee forward so you get the lower part of the calves. So while that right leg is against the step, now bend the knee and push forward to get the lower part of the calves and the Achilles. So first, you kept the right leg straight, and then you bent it. And switch over to the other side. It should be a real tight stretch. When you get those toes elevated up against the wall, lean in with that leg straight first on the left side. After you stretch out for a few seconds, bend the left knee and push forward with the toes to get the lower part of the calves, because there's going to be tons of shuffling, you're going to be doing it with holding the weights, do it with exercises, so you're going to need to know how to stretch your feet and calves. The best way is to press them up against something. Even putting them on like if you have a dumbbell, like if you look here, a dumbbell on the foot, you can put your foot up on the dumbbell and just bend this knee forward, so I'm stretching the forward leg. You've probably seen the one where you're on a wall and you're stretching the back leg, you're stretching the back leg, we're not doing that. We're stretching the foot that's up against the wall, you can put it up on a pole, on the edge of a dumbbell, whatever works. All right, let's get into the first round. We're gonna ease into this first round. It's gonna be just body weight. You don't need any equipment for it. You're gonna glide across the floor. All we're gonna hit is two jacks, two jumping jacks each end of your shuffle. That's it, simple stuff to get started, to get warmed up. Let's do it in three, two, one, let's go. Shuffle across, two jacks. Glide across, jack, jack. Shuffle and jack. Zip across. Boom. Boom. Glide, glide. This is fast. This is cardio. Hop it out. I'm trying to stay on the edge of the screen. I'm trying to get maximum distance on my shuffle. Back up sometimes. You want off the camera, stay on the camera so you see the edge fast. Shuffle across. Just two jacks. Light and smooth, just get the blood flowing. These are going to be long rounds. Keep it moving. And listen, keep it safe on your shuffle. If you know you can't shuffle, just do a slow walk, lateral walk across the floor. Do what you got to do. Keep it rolling, keep it moving. Steve Crawl is on there from Scranton, Pennsylvania, following along live from Pennsylvania. Two jacks, each end of your shuffle. Hop. Hop, land on your feet, glide across. 
across. It's going to be very long rounds with no real break in between segments of the round. It's going to be just a second to catch your breath, to shake it, and then on to the next exercise. Two jacks. We are just getting it rolling. Glide across. Pop. Pop. Time. All right, same thing. We're staying on the same round. You're going to hit weight. It's just going to be split jacks, legs only. So it's just front to back jack. You can see light on my feet right there, just for four. Four total to each side. So just shuffle across. One, two, three, four. Four split jacks. Glide across. Light on your feet. Just bounce it across. There we go. If you know you can't shuffle, just modify it. If you can't bounce, the modification would be just to step back. One leg at a time. So just look at my feet there, just stepping back one leg at a time. If you can't do the jumps, there is always a modification for everything. There is always no excuses for anything. You can always figure it out, make it away, make it work. Light on your feet, go out across. Your heart rate should already be getting up. Your body temperature should already be getting up. Getting ready to move, getting ready to work. Glide across. Make sure your knees are slightly bent when you're doing that shuffle. Your ankle, your knee, and your hip all slightly bent. Strong athletic stance on that shuffle. Glide across. Hop, 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 hop. Zip it. One, two, three, four. A couple more times. Oh, yeah, those legs and calves are feeling it already. You are screwed. Because this is just literally the second segment of about 99 segments. I'm not even joking. We're going to squeeze as many as we can get in. But there's about three hours worth of work we're going to try and cram in in this next hour and a half that we're going to be here together. Pop, 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 pop. What are you getting all nervous for when you heard an hour and a half for, Tyson? Huh? Why are you nervous? You thought it was just an hour? Oh, you're screwed, sucker. Time. Shake it. Listen, this half a second you get in between, keep stretching, keep shaking. Find those calf stretches because we are just getting started. Stretch them, stretch them, shake it, stretch your quads, your glutes, hamstrings, all those stretches we did in the beginning. Because we are just getting started. Your legs are going to be toasted. They're going to be fried. All right, we're on each end. You're going to do one squat thrust. And I bet you never thought you'd be excited to do a freaking squat thrust, but you're going to be because what that's going to do is give you a freaking break from this damn shuffle that we're going to be doing for like 48 of the 60 minutes that we're here. I mean 90 minutes. My bad. All right. Let's do it. So one squat thrust each end. That's it. So glide across the floor. Squat down. Jump back. Jump in. And glide across. That squat thrust is literally a break for you. Because it's a break from this shuffle. Which I bet you never realized that a shuffle will wear your ass down so fast. I'm, I know my legs are feeling it already. I mean, my legs are already sore. They've been permanently sore since about March 16th. Since that whole... Corona, shutdown, bullshit, or whatever started. Literally, I have only taken, how many days have we had taken off since then, Tyson? At least seven. So we've taken only about six or seven days off since March 16th. Yeah. So we, we average about one day off a month of training. And look, we're still alive. Still kicking. Amazing. And we're talking about working out. We're talking about training. We're not talking about exercise. And so, I'm, we're in fairly decent shape, and this shuffling is already wearing down my freaking legs. So listen, if you have to, what you do instead of stopping, look, just walk it across the floor. That's fine. Or just do a forward jog across the floor if you have to. If you need to, just walk across the floor and then stop and do your exercise. Or no walk, just do the exercise. Look at it walking even. You can just do a speed walk across the floor. Turn. Pop for your exercise. Jog across the floor. Pop for the exercise. Then go back to a shuffle after you gave it a little bit of a break. Pop. Shuffle to the left. Pop on the side. Oh yeah. Go back to your jog if you have to. Squat thrust. Jog the other way. Squat thrust. And then walk so you can recover from all of them so you're ready. So it's still working. There's always a modification. Modify before you stop. 
die before you fucking quit. Time! Shake it, shake it, shake it! Shake it! You have some more of that hydrate. Keep those legs stretched out. Active recovery. Stretch those shoulders. Keep stretching those calves. So you don't have to go over to the wall. You can keep a dumbbell somewhere out of the way that you're not going to trip on. So you can constantly be stretching those calves. The toes bent, the feet bent, with the knee bent, but also with it straight. Stay hydrated, sip some water. All right, let's do it. One crawl out each end of the shuffle. All you gotta do is one crawl out. Let's roll. So we'll crawl up wider, stance your shoulder width, squat down, crawl all the way out to push up position, crawl back in, and get on your horse. Let's do it. Boom, let's begin. One crawl out and shuffle. So now the crawl out takes even longer than the squat thrust. This is giving, I mean, yeah, this is giving that shuffle an even longer break. But don't worry. Some exercises after this are going to give you even a shorter break. And it's going to be faster pace in your legs. So there's plenty of suckery still ahead. Don't you worry. Plenty of freaking suckery on the way. I'm going to hook you up. Crawl it out. Full push up position. Zip it across. Pop, 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 pop. If you're feeling crazy and you want a little longer of a break from the shuffle, add a push up in down there. Crawl it out. Get that upper body working. There is a round coming up that's going to have a ton of upper body, so don't worry. But if you want to get it warmed up now, add in that one push up after the crawl out. And then glide across. Crawl out. Push up if you want it. Crawl in. And giddy up. On your horse. On the move, attack. Attack every freaking set. Bring the freaking fire every second of every freaking second. Everything you do in life, you should be attacking it this way. No matter how simple it seems, make it hard, make it intense. You're sweeping the floor. Sweep the floor like a motherfucker. Get the mail like a madman. All out in everything you do. Time. Shake it, shake it, shake it. We are just getting started. How we feeling? We good? Edu. Yosef, we good? You are sure, Edu? Slumping over. We are just getting warmed up. We have dozens of segments left. Just shake it. Stay active. Stretch those shoulders. Facebook freaks. Put a comment down below if you are following along and where you are following from. What's up? Shake it. Stretch it. All right. So this one's got to kind of suck. So it's coming after. It's just high knees, which high knees we've done all the time. Pretty easy in general, right? But right after a shuffle, to have to go four high knees, right back to a shuffle. So listen, the faster pace you go, the shorter amount of time we'll have to do this shit. So it's just four high knees each end of your shuffle. So the legs get zero freaking break, because they got plenty of break in those last two rounds. Let's do it in three, two, one, boom! Glide across, hop, 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 hop! Shuffle, high knee, hop, 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 hop! Shuffle it across, listen, if you need to modify, you just march in place, or just do a jog in place if you have to. There's always a way to make it happen. Hop, 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 hop. Just gotta admit, someone into the room. Keep it rolling. Zip it across. Hop, 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 hop. Glide across. You have to just jog in place before. Zip. Get those knees up. Dive parallel to the floor. Fast pace. Hop, 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 hop. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Glide across. Four high knees in place on the end of your shuffle. Zip it. Boom, 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 boom. Glide, glide, light on your feet on the shuffle. Hop, 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 hop. Try not to go off the screen. But I'm getting too excited with the shuffle. Then I can't even stop and go through a freaking wall. Hop, 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 hop. There it is. Glide. Boom, 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 boom. Zip. Couple more, couple more. Faster pace. Let's go. 
go, freaks. Pick it up. Fast you go. The less time we have to do it, keep rolling. Hop, 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 hop. Boom, 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 boom. Time. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Stretch those legs. Your heart rate should be through the roof right now. If you were pushing the pace the way that you should be, your heart rate should be through the roof. Your legs should already be fried. Keep on stretching them with these couple seconds that you have while I'm battling. Because that's the only breaks you're getting, is the battle breaks. All you get are battle breaks. All right, so now we have four mountain climbers each end of your shuffle. So it's still fast pace, but at least the up and down, believe it or not, is gonna actually save your ass getting up and down just to get into that position and out of the position. Because anything you're gonna do, anything you can get a break from the fast pace and the shuffle is gonna help you out. All right, four mountain climbers each end of the shuffle. Get down there quickly, safely. Make it kind of a squat for us to get down there if you can. We're going in three, in two, in one. Glide across, mountain climbers. Four at each end, one, two, three, four. And zip right to your shuffle. I want some speed. Fast, big and pace. Hop, 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 and glide. Bury yourself. You should be 10 seconds into this set. And you sure you'd be like, holy shit, I'm gonna die. Holy shit, I am never gonna make it through this whole two minutes of this set. But you know what? You're gonna get to the next rep. And you're gonna go one step at a time. One step at a time. And you're gonna freaking survive. And you're gonna make it happen. Glide across. Tyson, you're a little shit. It's because you're a midget. I'm trying to keep up with you, but you got the little midget legs. I'm going to die trying to keep up with you. Um, don't get sloppy with your stuff. Glide across. Get down with some speed, some flow. Come right up into the shuffle. Push the damn pace, freaks. Keep those backs flat. Time. Yes. Yes, we are rolling. We are rolling. Shake it. Stretch it. Breathe it out. Keep moving. Keep moving. All right. All that's going to be here is two front kicks on each end of your shuffle. A little slower paced ones. We just did two real fast paced in a row. So we want to be able to keep going without having to take a real break. So when you get to the left side, it's just left front kick, right front kick. You shuffle across to the right. It's right and left. So whatever side you're going to, you're kicking with that side first. Let's do it. Going in three, two, one, shuffle. Left, right, on the left. Now over to the right side. Where we're going right, left, glide. Boom, boom. Oh, if I catch you, Tice, I'm gonna be behind you. You're gonna get a boot in the ass, I'm coming. Whoa, you're lucky I just missed you. Oh, caught him. I'm coming, you better move faster. Oh, that one was coming to your head. I'm gonna kick your ear off. Bam, bam. Glide. Ha. Ha. Breathe it out. Whip it across. I'll turn this other camera on. Just so we have multiple angles. There we go. You can see the ass kickery from multiple angles. Zip across. Boom. Boom. Ooh. Some sweet chin music coming for you.
basically a squat thrust to two plank jack. Simple stuff. Forward and come up. Oh yeah, squat down. Boom, boom. Glide, zip in. What the heck? Did you see her workout? See what she wrote? Writing is the same as saying it. They better disappear. jumps on each end of your shuffle. It's gonna suck. Stretch those legs. Keep stretching. Keep shaking. Still got a long way to go. We're not even halfway to the halfway mark. Figure out that math. Shake it, stretch it. All right, two squat jumps. Glide across the floor. 23, 2, 1, go! Zip, squat, get some air! Let's see it! Oh yeah! Hot. Cross, get up there, get some air! Get some air. We used to be able to make jokes about Tyson and mine's jumping ability and or lack of it. We used to be able to make jokes about that. But nowadays, nowadays, you can't make those jokes because too many people you get butt hurt about it. Right across. Ha! Ha! Get some air. Fry your legs. Fry them. Your quads should be burning. They should be frying. You should be able to cook freaking some nasty ass bacon on your quads right now because they should be on fire. They should be like a frying pan. Get some air. Get up there. Get up, get up. Oh yeah. Zip. Zip across. We're going to burn your legs out because the dumbbell is coming up. So you're going to get a real quick short break. Well, not a break. Just time to get your dumbbell set up. Hydrate. So we're going to burn these legs out before we get going with the dumbbells. So this is just the first group that we're completing right now out of six groups. And this is the shortest group of them all that we're on right now. Oh yeah. Time! Fuck yeah! Legs are feeling good. Preston Fontanet can can we do boxing? You can do, you can box on the end of these shuffles, but Thursday night, 6.15 Eastern, 3.15 Pacific time, free full boxing session, full hour boxing every week on Facebook. Right now you should be hitting these exercises. Shake it, stretch it, get yourself your dumbbells out. You don't need crazy heavy dumbbells. Like I'm literally just going to use 20 pound dumbbells. You don't need heavy dumbbells. Same game. We're going to shuffle right now. All you're going to be doing when we shuffle is holding these dumbbells at your shoulders. When we get to the ends, it'll be a different exercise on each end. I'll call it out as we're going. I'll let you know. It's going to start off 
with just alternating shoulder presses. So pumps, you're holding them here. You get to the end. It's just four alternate shoulder press. Alternate shoulder press on the other end. Back position right here. Glide across a little slower if you have to. Get on the end, plant your feet. One, two, three, four. Shuffle across. Four presses on this side. Ha, 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 ha. Oh yeah. Cross. One, two, three, four. Glide. Abs tight while you move with this weight. If you feel like it's too much impact, just do a side step to get across there. Whatever works. Boom, 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 boom. Four presses. Zip across. Abs are strong. Back is straight. Don't arch your back knee, push it overhead. There we go. Keep those weights in the shoulder rack if you can. You do when you're moving. Keep at the shoulder rack. Fight for it. You'll get to put them down in between sets. So we're trying to hold out. We need to adjust your weight, adjust your weight. You feel like your technique is off or it's too heavy. Zip. Across. Pop, 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 pop. Glide. Oh yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, put them down, shake those arms out, give those shoulders a break for a second. All that's going to be here is two squats each end of your shuffle. So you're holding the weights here as you shuffle across. Control, don't rush your squat, two squats. Also take your time on your shuffle here because you have extra weight. You don't want to be pounding on your joints. So take your time getting across, two slow controlled squats on each end. This is the dumbbell round, it's going to be a little slower paced. Should not be that fast paced here. That was the last round, the bodyweight round. Let's do it. Scoop them up. Shoulder rack. Shuffle across. Two squats. Glide across. You don't need crazy heavy weights. Two full deep squats. Glide. Oh yeah. Even though it's a squat, your arms should still be frying just from holding the weights in position there. They're not resting on your shoulders. Glide. Do what you gotta do. You gotta put them down for a second to reset. Recover and get back to it. Oh yeah. Two. Zip it across. Sit back in the hips and heels in that squat. Nose down, out to the mouth up. Time! Shake it, shake it, shake it. We're gonna be with these dumbbells for a while here. We're going four alternating curls each end of the shuffle. So you're gonna hold them here at the shoulder rack where your biceps and forearms are frying. Hop in for four curls. Get them both back to that shoulder rack. We good? We feeling good? We awake yet? We warmed up yet? Oh yeah. Let's do it. Four alternating curls. Shoulder rack. Shuffle. And four curls. I don't care if the palms are up or in on these, whatever works. Double cross. Glide. Oh yeah. One. Two. Three, four, zip it. Your arms should be done already. They should be freaking done. Who that just jumped on that camera? You better give that girl some dumbbells and get her shuffling. Whoever just jumped on the camera, you better get her a pair of dumbbells. You got space there for two of you to shuffle. Oh shit, your arms should be on fire. Oh yeah. Hop, 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 time! Woo! You should get pumped up, pumped up! Shake it, stretch your shoulders out, keep rotating them, keep them moving. Get ready for the next round, next set. This next set is gonna be just one squat to press on each end, just one. So you're holding them in that shoulder rack, it's gonna suck holding them there. You're coming squat, Press back to shoulder rack and shuffle it across. Stretch those shoulders, stretch those arms, 
Shake it out. Ready to rock. Going in three, two, one. Shoulder rack, shuffle. Full squat, press. Shuffle across. Just one squat to press. Each end. Hell yeah. Feeling good. Whole body's getting fried now. Total body movement. We're working the upper, the lower, the core, the cardio, the coordination. Breathe out as you shoot that up there. Into your nose on the way down. Out through your mouth on the way up. Hell yeah. Drive it. Boom. Zip. Across. Full squat. And press. Your arms should be shot. Already. But we're going to get two more. One more on each side. Suck it up. Work through it. Did an excellent one on accident. Squat. Boom. Time. Woo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Arms should be pumped up by now. You should be dripping sweat. Shake that. Stretch that. There's arms ready. This is the hardest round on the upper body, this whole dumbbell group. So that's how it's supposed to feel. Your arms should feel that way. And now you forgot how much the shuffle sucked. All right, we're going to go curl to press. Just one each arm. So you're going to hold them at the shoulder rack. When you get to the right, you go right arm, curl to press, left arm, curl to press, and get them both back to the shoulder rack for the shuffle. Whatever side you're going to, that arm is going to go first. Let's do it. Scoop them up. Yeah, it's time. Even though your arm is still zapped, fried, toasted, shuffle it across. So right arm. Curl the press, back to shoulder, left arm. Curl the press, shoulder, and shuffle. On the left side, left arm goes first. Curl, press, shoulder rack. Curl, press, shoulder rack, and shuffle. So whatever direction you're shuffling to, that arm is gonna go first. Boom. Make sure the lower back doesn't arch as you're pushing overhead. Throw it up there. Keep those knees slightly bent while you're standing in place. Make sure you're not locking those knees out. Ha! Oh yeah, those shoulders are done. The grip is done. The biceps are done. The forearms are done. But we don't give a shit because the set is not done. Just deal with it. One rep at a time. One movement at a time. Come on, one more time. Let's finish strong. Boom. Oh yeah. Ha. Shh. One more on the other side. One more. Drive it. Ho. Oh. Boom. Time. Shake it. We still got a few more of the dumbbells. Dumbbells are not done. This main camera seems like it's chopping. It seems like crappy quality. I'm going to switch off the Wi-Fi. Hopefully it doesn't cut me out. And goes right to the Regular cell surface, let's see what happens. All right, it froze. <laughs> Shake it out. I'm just gonna go off, turn this camera off just for a second and then put it back on. Oh, there we go. All right, we're back on on both. Thank you. Yep, all good. All right, so dumbbells. Now we're going to squat to curl, double arms. So squat, curl. On one rep on each side. So go inside your legs for these. So have a pretty good, strong shoulder width stance for the squat. One squat and curl on each end. Let's do it. Get them up. Shoulder rack position. Shuffle across. Squat. This one do a hammer curl. Keep the palms in the whole time. It's going to be easier to transition to get it in between your legs. Zip across. Yes. Glide. Squat and curl. Keep that head up, chest out, shoulders back and down like that squat. Don't let that weight pull you forward. Upper body straight up and down. 
Breathe out. In through the nose down. Out through the nose up. Exhale as you drive it up. A lot of cross. Ha. Boom. Zip. Zip. Oh, yeah. It sucks on the arms right now. It sucks. Massive levels of suckery, but we freaking love it. We wouldn't have it any other way. This is what we're here for. To suffer. Because listen, no levels of success or achievement or high performance or weight loss or muscle building or making money, no level of success in any of those areas is possible without some pain, without some sacrifice, and without some freaking suffering. You need to suffer to get the transformation. Squat, curl, time. We got a couple more of the dumbbells. So we have coming up one dumbbell squat thrust on each end. It's gonna suck, but it's gonna be kind of good because it gives the arms a break. That push up position is actually gonna be an easier position than holding the damn weights up at this point. So again, the dumbbell squat thrust is my gift to you to give you that break. You know, it's a fucked up round when a dumbbell squat thrust is your easy part, is your rest portion of the round. Keep those forearms, stretch those forearms out because your grip is going to start fading. Rotate your wrists, smack your freaking forearms, shake them, get the blood flowing, get those shoulders, get those shoulders loose, stretch those quads. We're all sitting here smacking our forearms like we're a bunch of crackheads or whatever, whoever, who does it? We're about to pump some heroin into our veins. Alright, one dumbbell squat thrust. Each end of your shuffle, scoop them up. We're still holding them at the shoulder rack for the shuffle. Scoop them up, shoulder rack. Three, two, one, shuffle. Squat thrust. Ha! Down, out, in, up, curl them up to that shoulder rack. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. But it feels so good. Slide across, squat down, jump back, jump in, squat up, curl them to get them back there. So you're actually getting an extra bicep curl. Look at that, a bonus. A bonus curl for the girls. Pumping those arms up. Oh shit, yeah. Curl them up, glide across, squat down, jump back, jump forward, squat up, zip. Oh yeah. Good news is, we only got one set of the dumbbells left after this one. If your hands are soaking like mine, literally my palms are dripping sweat. This weight is like slipping out of my freaking hands. It's like they're greased up. So you gotta grip it even tighter so the shit doesn't fly and break my damn toe or fly and hit Tyson in the back of his dome. Oh, fuck. Yeah! Time! Woo! Hell yeah. If you're spinning, if you're dizzy, if you're nauseous, if you're not sure if you're going to keep your consciousness, you are in the right place. Control your breathing. Keep it under control. All we got left for the dumbbell round is one crawl out on each end of the shuffle. And the funniest part is, this is only the second group out of six. I wasn't even joking. I guess we're not getting all six groups in in the hour and a half that we're here. So we'll just have to continue that next time. Because this is some long rounds. All right, one crawl out each end. Shoulder rack, scoop them up. Let's roll, get them up, get them up. Get those weights up, glide across. One crawl, wide stance, wider than shoulder width. Crawl all the way out to the push-up position. Don't slide the weights. And a push-up, just for the shit of it. Glide across.
across. Wide stance, wire the shoulder width. Squat down, don't slide the weights. Walk them out, clunk them out there. Full push-up position. One push-up. Crawl them back. Curl them up to the shoulder rack and shuffle. Holy shit, that's a lot of work. <laughs> Who the hell's idea was this shit? Curl them up and zip. You do where you're at, I don't see you. She left. You disappeared off camera. Making sure you're still amongst the living. Oh yeah, walk them out there. Don't slide those weights. If they're gonna want to just slide, pick them up and place them on the freaking floor. Holy shit, this is some fun stuff. Fun stuff! And a push-up out there. Woo! Curl them up and glide. Give me one more. One more on each side. Hell yeah! Ah! are done. You can put the dumbbells away. Get your medicine ball out. A dead weight medicine ball. Holy shit. That's fucked up my hand. Carrying those dumbbells fucked up my hand. Shake it. Set your shoulders. You need your dead weight med dead weight medicine ball. crazy heavy. I'm using a 20. Use never works for you. Does not matter. Take a couple more seconds. Just shake it out. Hydrate if you need to. We're going to go right back to that shuffle. It's going to be fast paced. Because we don't have those dumbbells weighing us down. We just have one little medicine ball that we're going to be doing fast paced exercises with. You should be dripping sweat. You should be sweating like a pig. Alright, we're gonna start. Literally just one regular slam on each end. So a full slam and it's dead weight. So you need to drop down with it where it's popping right back into your hands into a deep squat. So you're not slamming it and then leaning over to go get it. You're dropping with it as you freaking slam. Alright, let's do it. Hold the ball, you're holding it at your chest. Chest position, one slam, go! Chest, shuffle across. Ha! Glide across. Boom! Big slam, massive slam. I want to hold the ground. Should look like there was a mortar shell was just dropping freaking rainmakers down on the ground. Zip across. Intensity, every second, boom. Keep those abs tight. Don't forget, every exercise is an ab exercise. Keep those abs tight. Every second of every set, boom. Bash it. Ha. Woo. Yeah. Boom. Holy shit, it's not All right, we have two. I said two and I'm holding up one finger. I'm losing it, I'm losing it. That's how you know you're getting the right effect. Two, jack press up on each end. Shuffling across, holding it at your chest. Two, jack press up each end of your shuffle. Big deep breaths. Let's do it. 
go three, two, one. Let's do it. Shuffle. Jack press up for two. Hold out your chest. Fly across. Ha. Ha. Fully extend those arms overhead. So the weight goes up when the feet go apart. Back to your chest when the feet come together. Up and apart, down and together. Ha. Up and apart, down together for two. Two jack press up. Each end of your shuffle. Oh yeah. Ha. Ha. Glide across. Control that weight. Your arms are going to start feeling it just from holding that ball at the chest. After all those dumbbell rounds, work through it. Do what you got to do. Listen, turn it into a walk if you have to. Then you two jack press. If you have to modify the jack press, just tap one foot out at a time if you have to. If you want to jog across the floor, jog across the floor. Do what you got to do. Ha. Ha. Two more. One more each side. Boom. Boom. Last one on the far side. Ha. Ha. Oh yeah, Yosef has a partner. There it is. His, his medicine ball looks heavier than yours. Nice, shake him out. So we're gonna go with a jumping slam on each end of your shuffle. So you shuffle across, it's at your chest. You're gonna push up while you're in the air and boom. So it's gonna be even harder on your legs. You're welcome. Stretch those legs. This is sucking right now. It's supposed to suck. If it was easy, everyone would be walking around healthy and in shape and with strong immune systems, having all those nasty viruses and puke faces, all that shit just bouncing off of them. If this stuff was supposed to be easy. It's not supposed to be easy. All right, let's do it. One jump slam. Each end, let's say one or two. One. Your hair is so wet, it's always sunk down to your head now. <laughs> you need a haircut. Okay, so let's do it off like this. Look, look, how long his hair is. <laughs> Go like this. Let's do it. One jump slam. Chest. Chest rack. Go. Shuffle. Jump. Oh, yeah. Get some air. Oh, yeah. Squat. Jump slam. Bend first before you jump. So look, you're shuffling. Get to the end. Little wind up and boom. Oh, that sucks. That is pure suckness. Ah, boom. Why would some psychopath put this at the end of the workout? You gotta be sick in the head. Hell yeah. I wouldn't have it any other boom way. I just bash the same thing around the top of the ceiling. I'm the fucking garage over here. And now I'm knocked out. The same thing or exactly just got smushed. Jump. Slam. Come on, big slam. Big slam breaks. Jump. Boom. One more each side. Suck it up. Ha. Land smooth. Land on your feet. Low impact. Boom. Shake it. Oh, yeah. Woo. Shake it out. Stretch those legs. We have two. Jack, press, out. Coming up. So the ball goes away from your body as your feet come apart. Two, jack, press, out. Oh, yeah. Fun stuff. Stretch those legs. And let's get ready to roll. Two jack press out. Each end of the shuffle. Going in three, two, one. Shuffle. Push it forward in front of you. Arms fully extend. So from a side view. Ooh, we get on camera. Boom. Boom. So right at shoulder level. Straight across. If it's too heavy and you can't jump, don't forget, just tap one foot out at a time while you're shuffling. Two, jack press out, zip across. Ha. Ha. Glide, glide, boom, boom. That's tight. 
Sometimes you push that ball away. You need that support in your core. Zip it across. Right. Don't forget, if you've had enough of the shuffle, just jog across the floor. Then hit your exercises. Or fast walk across the floor and modify the jack press. Come on, one more side. One more side. That's it. This is it. Done. Ha. Ha. Time. And we are freaking done. You missed a high five, sucker. Good job. Peak fist. Harry knuckle. Good job. <laughs> fist bump as I choke on my own. Yeah. Spit and sweat. Nice work. Come up on the screen and mute yourselves real quick. Or unmute yourselves. Just a second workout of the day. You're killing it. Hi. Hi. Did you do the whole workout with us? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Did you get a good exercise? Yeah. Good. This nice is his work. second workout too. Second workout yeah. of the day. Freaks. So have you either, have you, any of you done, I think, Joseph, you told me you, you did the, that longer extended PF. That was crazy. And you said you did halfway uphill or something? That's just a, not a bright move on your part. Yeah. Halfway uphill is one thing. Finishing it uphill was not a bright move. Especially now that's my, my standard, so I got to do that every time now, I guess, right? Or find a flat ground and just get a new time, because that's going to suck every time. Yeah. <laughs> what was your time? What was your total time? Um, I think about an hour was the 12 minute warm up. But without the, after the warm up, an hour, right? Including including the warm up. Oh, so but time it just from the run. So like 48 so minutes 40, in. 48 minutes. The run was only 10 minutes each. Nine minutes each. Nine and and 10, I think. And then and then the uh, what do you call it was the 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 middle was just. Just so you know, I do this with some private groups of mine and some other groups I coach from around the world that we meet in person. And the record right now has me beat, and I'm going to beat it. My time was 33 minutes, and the record is 29 minutes right now. Okay. So there's your time to aim it. for. <laughs> okay. All right, if you have no questions or need any help or anything on your nutrition, your workouts, I will talk to you later. Thanks for joining us. You are Thanks, guys. freaking awesome. Yeah. No excuses. Harry Knuckle Fist Bump, Thank Instagram, you. Facebook. We are all done. See you later. Okay. Anything you want to say, little freak? Very, very normal child. I can't imagine where he gets it from. I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. No excuses. Crawl. I want to see some pictures and some video of you doing this workout over in Pennsylvania. I will talk to you later. If you have any questions, comments, need help with anything, put a message below or just send me a private message. Let's talk about it. We will get you hooked up. Trying out these sessions for 21 days to $21. Completely unlimited. You could be on the live Facebook follow-alongs or you could be on the Zoom sessions with the full members, which get to get, we actually are watching them. Like if you heard me talking to some of the other members, I'm actually watching all of them on the little Brady Bunch screen grid view and correcting them, seeing their technique, making sure they're doing things the right way. So if you want some information on that, send me a private message, send me a text. I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. No excuses.